Good morning students. Welcome to TGL Physics and in, today we are going to discuss about uh, inverse uh, trigonometrical functions. Some of the important problems. So here we have uh, the one problem is like this. Prove the following. 3 sin inverse x is equal to sin inverse of 3x minus 4x cube. x is belongs to minus 1 by 2 and also what is that comma 1 by 2. For this uh, we recover to find out equate the both sides of the what here equation. So RHS and also LHS. So let us consider I am coming from the RHS here right hand side. So what we have on the right hand side is the sine inverse of 3x minus of 4x cube. So let us put x is equal to what here? Sine theta. When you put the x is equal to sine theta, so what happens here? The sine inverse of 3 into sine theta minus of 4 into sine theta, it will become cube here. So this will become what here? Sine cube theta here in this case. So therefore, this one, 3 sin theta minus of 4 sin cube theta. Here we have, uh, this can be written as, okay, sin 3x. Okay, here we have 3 sin inverse of x is equal to y. So therefore, sin 3x, I can able to write this one. So therefore, in terms of theta, I can able to write 3 theta here. Sin inverse of sin 3 theta. So we have a formula for this. Okay, sine inverse of sine x is always equal to x. Here in this case also it is equal to what here? 3 theta. 3 is here. What is the meaning of theta? The theta is nothing but x is equal to sine theta. So therefore that implies that sine inverse of x is equal to theta. So therefore theta I will write here. So therefore the left hand side is equal to 3 sine inverse of what is that? x. So this is the first problem. So let us go for uh, the second problem here. Okay. So this is actually the third problem in exercise 2.2. Tan inverse of 2 by 11 plus tan inverse of 7 by 24 is equal to tan inverse of what here? 1 by 2. So let us consider. Okay. We know that. So we have this formula. So tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y can be written as what here? The tan inverse of x plus y divided by what is that? 1 minus of what is that? xy. x is nothing but a what here? 2 by 11. Okay, replace x by what is that? 2 by 11. And y is replaced by what is that? 7 by 24. Is here 24. Now rewrite this entire thing. Okay, tan inverse is equal to what happens here? Tan inverse of x x is nothing but 2 by 11 plus of 7 by what is that 24 minus of x into y that is 2 by 11 into 7 by 24 on simplifying this particular thing okay so on simplifying this thing so what you will get is the okay so that is the 125 divided by 24 into 11 into 11 into 12 divided by 125. 125 and 125 is gets cancels out. So these two is gets cancels out. So what you will get is so 11 and 11 is also get cancels. 12 divided by 24 is nothing but a what here? 1 by 2. It is nothing but uh, here. So the left hand side. So RHS is equal to LHS. So that is how we can able to prove by using this particular formula. Okay. So let us pass on to the third problem. Okay. So third problem is uh, actually the fourth problem in your uh, book. Okay. So this is also the same as what uh, in the second problem. There is a, some little bit of differences there. Here. Two tan inverse of one by two plus tan inverse of one by seven is equal to tan inverse of thirty one by seventy. So we already know that. 2 tan inverse of x can be written as what here? Tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus of x square. 
So x is replaced by what here? 1 by 2. First one let us replace it with the what here? 1 by 2. Then uh, the what we will get? Okay. This can be written as 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2. This is, is equal to what here? Tan inverse of 2x divided by 1 minus x square. Here it is there. Tan inverse of 2x means 2 into 1 by 2 divided by 1 minus of 1 by 2 whole square. So on simplifying this thing, what we will get? 4 by 3 we will get. So therefore, 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2 is equal to tan inverse of 4 by 3. Now what is the LHS? Let us consider the LHS term here, this one. Okay, 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2 plus tan inverse of 1 by 7. What is 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2? It is nothing but 4 by 3 here, tan inverse of 4 by 3. Okay, let us substitute for this one. Okay, the next uh, it is very simple. Tan inverse of 4 by 3. I had substituted this thing. Okay, just to see this one. Okay, 2 tan inverse of 1 by 2 is written as what here? Tan inverse of 4 by 3. This is becomes a what here? Tan inverse of 4 by 3. So here it is. There. Tan inverse of 4 by 3. And this function is reminds as it is. Tan inverse of 1 by 7. So we already know that tan inverse of x plus tan inverse of y is equal to tan inverse of x plus y divided by 1 minus of x into what is that? y. It is the same as the what here, the last uh, thing. So this one, okay. It is the same as this one. So therefore, now let us simplify this one. Okay. <coughs> so this one here, replace x with what here, four by three, and y with what here, one by seven. So just tan inverse of four by three plus one by seven divided by one minus of four by three into one minus seven, one by seven. So you will get. Uh, this tan inverse of 31 by 21 into 21 by 21 and 21 get cancelled. So your answer is tan inverse of 31 by 17.